previously with Chelsea Rain. Hey everyone, this is Chelsea Rain and today is June 17th and I'm currently driving towards Stafford, Texas from Katy. So about a 30 minute drive to Christian Guzman's gym and I'm super excited. It's my first time going to his gym and first time meeting Nikki. So, um, well, pretty much my boyfriend has been uh, recently working with them as a videographer for their uh, workout videos and such. So, can't wait to get there. Can't wait to meet everybody. Your majesty, man, the click is the tightest, the push the tightest, the drinks are the coldest, the future the brightest, the feet not divided, the love is divided, and I just got it. Thank God that we got it. Wait, so Christian, what's that one? This? That one's different, right? Yeah, that's actually like a. It's not a pre workout, but it can be used in a pre workout. So oh, okay. It's just a cap. Alright, All right. go. Uh, <laughs> Wait, here. Yeah, please take that. On a funnel? I got it. I got it. I I'm going to show you. I'm going to taste the C4. Yeah, I'm going to taste the C4. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Done. Yeah. This is my big uh, stack of stuff. I have like recommendations that I get like or whatever. I have like cake and cake, but like, I don't think I have those, but I could. Surprise, everyone. Nice to see you all in the upper left hand corner of the screen. As you can see, I'm working out shoulders. Nikki and I are doing supersets of lateral raises, front raises, and rear delt raises. So three sets of eight to 10 reps. Make sure that you are breathing. Very important. You do not want to hold your breath, push yourself, and pass out. Okay, so like right there. So with these front raises, make sure that you are bringing them up to about eye level. You keep your chest up, your shoulders back, and your knees slightly bent. I am also doing 8 to 10 reps on this exercise. Now moving on to the rear delt raises. Guys, this was very, very difficult. It was my, I believe my first time doing it like that. Um, just make sure that you keep your back bent over but also aligned and your palms facing down as you bring them up. Rear delts are so hard. This one is large. Huh? What did you say? I said rear delts are so hard. Oh yeah, they said it's large. And my favorite here for the lower abs, ladies, I know most of us have a problem with the lower ab, little Pudge, whatever you want to call it. So doing this is a really good exercise. And you can do this um, pretty much at, at a park. <laughs> you can buy one of the pull-up bars. I have one here. I would wake up in the morning, do a couple of those, do some knee tucks. And this is what I'm doing now, is the bench knee tucks. The knee tucks were very difficult for me. It was the first time I started using uh, weight doing that. So holding the dumbbell up was definitely a challenge especially for my hips. So just keeping that up and bringing it in just back and forth was really challenging, but it was really good in the end. That's really good. <laughs> so right here I am doing pretty much the normal sit-ups going down and up, but I also have a plate. And as I'm coming down, I have the extra weight to where I'm contracting my abs and also adding that weight on there that I'm not used to. And for this cable crunch, however you want to call it, Nikki will explain that slightly. You'll get closer to it and like your back, it's like unlike different movements, and your back's gonna be like bent the whole time because you're just like pulling it forward. Otherwise, your back looks getting really bent. Yeah. 
Well then, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. That is it. I know it was very short, but please be sure to like, subscribe, and share, guys. And comment down below if you have any questions, suggestions, or anything. I am here. I am listening. Thank you all so much for watching. See y'all in the next video.